sifo Dyas was a Jedi Master who foresaw the impending conflict that would bring destruction and death to the Galactic Republic. Hoping to prevent this, he secretly commissioned the creation of a clone army on Kamino. Ironically, this army would be taken over and used by the Sith to destroy the Jedi and to take over the galaxy. Hoping to keep this clone army a secret, Palpatine ordered his new apprentice Count Dooku to kill sifo Dyas. So how did he do it? In canon, sifo Dyas was initially sent on a mission by Supreme Chancellor Valorum to deal with the Pike Syndicate. However, the Jedi Council interrupted this mission and instead sent him to Felucia to settle a conflict among local tribes. While Sifo was traveling to Felucia, Count Dooku bribed the Pike Syndicate to shoot down his ship, resulting in the ship crash landing on the Obadiah Moon, ultimately killing the Jedi. After their success, the Pikes investigated the crash site, discovering an aide to Valorum who survived, whom they later imprisoned as insurance. They also obtained the body of Sifo and brought it to Dooku to confirm that he was truly dead. It is unknown what Dooku did with the body. In Legends, it's sort of the opposite, where we don't know exactly how Dooku killed sifo Dyas, but we do know what he did with his body. Initially, he stored the body in a hibernation capsule for safekeeping. Later, Sifo's blood was transfused into Grievous' body while he underwent surgery from his injuries and when he was given his cybernetics. Dooku also gave Sifo's lightsaber to Grievous as a gift, with it becoming the first lightsaber in the Cyborg's collection. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.